Caballero is one of them. Eddie Elguera. Ray Bones Rodriguez is now another one that I've been skating with. And, you know, all those guys have a long history of friendship with me. And, you know, to be able to still skate with those guys and to travel the world, I couldn't be more blessed. Pictures, the jewelry that I brought back. I get everything else for free. It's hard, you know, you travel everywhere, you get everything for free. There's no need to really buy anything. And so I basically go around and I'll buy jewelry. Oh yeah, hats. Could have been a hat. You know, the things you need to do to skate long is to really stay healthy. Um, now I would say, you know, for me it's, it's being sober. I got 13 and a half years of sobriety and that definitely helps me keep skateboarding. And then my sponsors, people like Vans who support me, you know, Steve Van Doren sending us out here to Paris for the Vans Downtown Showdown. You know, these are, these are things that I just go, wow. The layback is one of them because it's one of the first tricks that, you know, was an iconic trick that Shogo Kubo did. And we both had long hair, we were both Japanese, and it's one of those tricks that's super stylish. And then the backside ollie, because of how it feels when you just float in the air without grabbing the board, you're upside down, and it's like you got this feeling that there's no way to describe it. And then the front side grind because truck on coping, slashing, it's like surfing. And for me, I skateboard because I love surfing. And to ex just have that feeling, to put out that aggression is amazing. And so if you have never done that, I feel sorry for you. But if you have, you know what I'm talking about. One more trick, and the Christ air. My whole life, I didn't believe really in anything other than myself, and then to finally, you know, come into a place where I actually believe in God and that I was the inventor of the Christ air, and now I have a relationship with him, that trick is definitely at the top of my list. The people, and then, the terrain and then the popularity of it because without that really there would be no you know culture like there is today where you look at all these huge sponsors making it possible to have an event like this in the middle of Paris with incredible obstacles I would have never thought that it would be this popular People who are, are not thankful, you know, I, I really don't get angry that much. Maybe traffic, getting caught on the freeway when I have to be somewhere and, you know, you get rerouted to go, that gets me a little angry. And then uh, when people are late, now that gets me a little angry. And who would ever thought that Christian and Soy would be the one being angry over people getting, you know, being late because I was always the latest. But I've grown, I've matured, and I realize that being on time is being respectful. Because of certain reasons, Bob Marley was one, because it was part of me as a young boy coming up, learning all the, the words to the songs, singing about things like in the Bible, to now I understand what they mean. Another one because of, at that point in time, it represented a, a movement and skateboarding and music coming together is like clash. And then Sade, Sade is a good one. Stay passionate about what you are doing. For me, it's skateboarding, and that's why I still do it. It would be, I use skateboarding as a platform to be able to share my faith with people, 
and it's something that I believe in. And if you believe in something, I would think that you would be passionate about that and you'd want to share it. And then I'm married and have four children and a grandson. Because you didn't ask, I just thought I'd tell you.